Snow melting projects have some initial considerations that must be addressed when using design software. You must consider the snow melting area, snow melting goals, the required heat input, hydronic or electric, and control solution. The Watt snow melting application simplifies the design process, providing you with everything you need to sell, design, and install a high performance snow melting system. How big is the area you want to melt? Determine the square footage of the snow melting area and identify any zone requirements. Zoning offers improved operations when areas have differing melting conditions or levels of importance. It also allows for a reduction in the size of heat source by melting high priority areas first, for example a driveway, then melting lower priority areas like back patios later. Snow melting goals. Snow melting systems are classified as an area free ratio of 0, 0.5 or 1. This number reflects how critical it is to clear snow as it falls. An AR of 1 would be an application where public safety is at risk. Like a hospital entrance. Snow must be melted as it lands on a warm surface with no tolerance for accumulation. An AR of 0 would be less critical application, typically residential, where snow accumulation is acceptable. The area free ratio must be identified in consultation with the end user, as it is linked to the performance and operational cost of the snow melting system. Determine the heat load. The application will calculate a heat load based on the entered location, area free ratio, and surface area. To understand the method used, you can refer to ASHRAE Handbook for HVAC applications. The handbook provides reference for calculations needed as well as lookup tables for a number of locations throughout North America. Using this table, you can see that the snow melting system in Colorado Springs with an area of free ratio of 0.5 would require 124 BTUs per square foot per hour with the 98% confidence factor, making the decision between hydronic or electric. This decision comes down to the heat load and operating costs. For smaller areas or locations with less frequent snowfall, electric snow melting can be considered. Watts Radiant offers electric solutions with up to 170 BTUs per square foot per hour. If the load is too high for electric, the application will be hydronic. Other reasons for selecting hydronic include the operating cost savings and the range of heat source choices that can be paired with a hydronic snow melting system. Control Solution a control solution has to be able to operate the snow melting system, but in addition to that, there are feature options that may appeal to the end user. Are they interested in Wi-Fi remote access with the mobile app? Doubling the sensing area with a tandem snow and ice detection? Integrating with a building management system? Operation that automates based on weather forecast? All these are possible with the right control solution. Once you are aware of the project requirements, the Watts tool will be able to provide all of the design information you will need drawings, a bill of materials, loop layouts, and even installation tips. Watch other videos in this series for answers to a number of snow melting, design, and installation questions. Providing customer satisfaction since 1874, Watts offers top quality solutions from the snow melting technology pioneers.